Thank you. Rebuilding after the March 31st tornado continues and today the city of North Little Rock celebrated the completion of its newest fire station in Burns Park. Now this is video taken just about a week after that EF3 tornado tore through central Arkansas. The tornado set its opening back by several months, but as THV 11's Brooke Buckner shows us, it'll make a big difference for the area. North Little Rock's fire station 8 was expected to open in April, but the EF3 tornado that swept through Burns Park on March 31st had other plans. It took off the roof, it caused water damage throughout. I mean, all the insulation, sheetrock, everything had to be taken, so it pretty much had to be gutted, but we just kept plowing on. Fire Chief Gerald Tucker says having this location in Burns Park will improve response times. Right down the road we've got a train track and there's 54 freight trains that go through there a day and our other stations on the other side of them so it kind of impeded us from responding to a lot of calls. Chief Tucker helped design this new building and wanted to include a memorial to honor those who are no longer with us. We have never had a place to honor our fallen and we thought it was about time that we, we come up with a place. Karen Robinson came to Monday's ribbon cutting to celebrate the opening and to honor her late husband, Jerry Robinson, better known as Red Bear. He worked for the fire department for more than 20 years and died from cancer last year. This was our second family and actually station eight was Jerry's last station before he transferred into the fire marshal's office. He was at the old facility, so it, it's, it's very special to me. Although the fire station is open, the rest of Burns Park is still a work in progress. Mayor Terry Hartwick tells me reopening Funland and the soccer fields is at the top of his to-do list. All the pavilions are going to be up. As you can see, the baseball fields are redoing right now. Mayor Hartwick says the new pickleball courts will open Wednesday, and his goal is to open the soccer fields in December. We're getting there. It's been over battle, but we're getting there. In North Little Rock, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. The city is also fixing roads around the park after debris trucks tore them up. That's expected to cost around $4 million.